Hello students welcome back to world of home science till now we have studied about meal planning for different age groups now we'll see what are the factors to be considered while meal planning myself vijay patil assistant professor of home science government first grade college ankola meal planning is a process which involves application of the knowledge of food nutrients food habits likes and dislikes within the limitations of available resources to plan wholesome and attractive meals meal planning is both an art and science it is a science in the wise choice of foods on the basis of their nutritive value to provide optimum nutrition to all members of the family and it is an art in the skillful blending of color taste flavor and texture in meals let's see the factors to be considered while meal planning one by one the first one is economic factors the amount and type of food that a family can afford depends on its income with the increase in income choice in selecting foods become wider but it is also possible to provide nutritious food at a low cost to plan low cost nutritious meals low cost cereals can be used jaggery can be used in the place of sugar seasonal and locally produced foods can be used to avoid much financial burden to enhance nutritive value methods like sprouting fermentation and combination of foods like cereals and pulses uh, combination for example khichdi can be used methods like pressure cooking should be used to retain nutritive value of the fruits low cost nuts like ground nuts can be used proper utilization of leftover food can be done The second important factor to be considered is size and composition of the family. Size of the family it refers to the number of its members amount of food cooked in the family is largely deter- determined by the number of its members more members mean more food for the family the type of family like nuclear or joint affects the meal planning to a larger extent while Family composition refers to the age, sex, activity, occupation and different physical conditions of its members. For example, age determines the nutritional requirements of different age group. For example, more proteins and minerals are required for growing children. Adults require food according to their activities. Occupation. The amount of nutrients required varies with the type of work. Various professions can be categorized on the basis of their activity like sedentary worker teacher lawyer doctor nurse etc moderate worker driver potter carpenter etc and heavy workers like sport persons laborers iron smith etc gender or sex women require less food as compared to men due to differences in the body mass body composition and basal metabolic rate physiological conditions affecting the nutritional requirements such as pregnancy and lactation have to be taken into the consideration while meal planning next point to be considered is season meals should be planned in accordance with the season since availability of food changes with the season during summer bottle gourd peach gourd pumpkin tinder bitter gourd etc are in abundance whereas carrot radish tomato peas cauliflower etc in winter food preferences change with the change in season cold drinks like lemon water soft drinks ice cream kulfi etc are more liked in summer hot drinks like tea coffee etc and high caloric foods like peanuts or hot pakoras tikki samosa etc are preferred in the winter therefore one must choose choose what is vegetables fruits and other food stuffs according to the season food availability is the another another factors to be considered availability of food also affects meal planning one should make maximum use of locally produced food stuffs because they are low cost tasty and abundantly available For example, seafood is easily available in the coastal areas making it their staple food. And food acceptance, acceptance or rejection of the food by a person is affected by his likes and dislikes, religious and social traditions and customs. All those factors are to be kept in mind while planning a meal. 
Another important factor to be considered is number of meals per day because number of meals taken in a day varies with a family to family. In some family families, two to three meals are taken in a day, whereas in some others it can be up to five to six times. Meal time also varies in every family. Number of meals taken are generally more in high income group as compared to low income group. During meal planning, emphasis should be laid on the meal of the day. This meal should be the main meal. And the nutritional deficiencies of other meals should be compensated in this meal. Availability of time, energy and labor saving devices is also very much important. Like mixture, grater, pressure cooker, chopper, grinder, roti maker can be used while planning a meal. That's for now. This is me Vijaya signing off. If you find the content of this video useful, do like, share and subscribe. Comment for your suggestions. For future home science videos, stay tuned. Bye-bye.